The next question asks about sampling distributions, and what it asks is the mean of the difference um, when we're dealing with this. So what we need to do then is we need to look at it, since the sample was selected randomly, the mean of the sampling distribution of the difference of the two is equal to the difference of the two claimed parameters. So in this case, the original 30% and the 20%, not the sample the parameter. So we do mu of p hat d minus p hat e, which is just p d minus p e, 0.3 minus 0.2 equals 0.1. Again, that subtraction is your work. And then it asks you to do standard deviation. Now remember, when we're dealing with differences of standard deviations, we need to change them, then the variances always add. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use the formula, and the formula right here is uh, p hat d times 1 minus p hat d over n d, so the all about uh, population d plus p, hat, p e 1 minus p e over n e. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to add those together. So in order to figure out that standard deviation, what we're going to do is the 0.3 times the 0.7 divided by 40, the 0.2 times the 0.8, which again is the 0.3 from here, comes here, the complement 0.7 the 0.2 from population E times its complement 0.8 over 60. And when we go ahead and do that in our calculator, we end up with a standard deviation of 0 0.089. So what they're asking us to do is find the mean and standard deviation of a sampling distribution. And the thing to remember again is the rules for means are exactly what they seem. If you wanna add them, you add them. If you subtract them, you subtract them. When it comes to standard deviations, we have to remember that we have to turn them to variances first and we always add then square root to bring it back to standard deviation.